so these are what's called phase one studies that um, you have some interesting idea or you have a hypothesis that this may be helpful. Uh, and with these agents, they were tested and there was, you know, back in the 50s and 60s and there was some preliminary interesting kinds of findings. And so based on that, people have decided, well, why don't we test it out um, in a phase one trial where, you know, you, the phase one trials really are about determining safety, feasibility. Um, and the UCLA study, they've treated 12 subjects, and they were able to show that it was safe and feasible. Nobody, there were no bad outcomes. Nobody went to the hospital. Nobody became addicted. And there was some preliminary positive findings. So you do these kinds of preliminary studies, and if there's a, an effect, um, then ultimately, you know, or what we call a signal, then you'd go on to larger studies, ultimately progressing to phase three. And the phase three studies usually at multiple sites, it includes usually hundreds of patients. Um, and if a phase three study has a sufficient, you know, efficacy effect, then you could go to FDA and petition to make it available as a medicine for a particular indication. In this case, it would be for psychosocial distress associated with advanced or terminal cancer. Um, so, you know, one study doesn't, doesn't do anything. You know, Charlie's study, even though there's some preliminary positive findings, that's not enough to have a drug be approved, you really have to um, move it through the drug development process. You need lots of money to do these studies. Um, and at the end of it, you need to show that it's safe and effective.